Okay, D-Light Channel, T-Mark is here. Thanks for being here this week as we continue our descent to land our conversation on life, life balance. Last week, I touched extensively on the factors militating against achieving or working towards the achievement of life life balance it's a video i think you should watch but this week i am continuing from the last point i gave last week which is the lack of practical operational tips that can guide you in achieving life life balance there's a lot to cover this in this in this slot i hope i can achieve it in one video if not i'll continue next week so let's get going quickly by touching on the very first one the very first step practical step you need to take in order to achieve life life balance is to change your life's equation i repeat change your life's equation remember that from the beginning i have always called it life life balance i didn't call it work life balance for a purpose why the first thing you must get is that my friend you have just one life stop thinking that it is work versus life remember it's just one life so identify the variables that you are dealing with and be conscious to drive for the balance don't be deceived it will not be easy don't be deceived you will not probably always achieve balance all the time in your life but the point is that when you appreciate the fact that all you have is just one life i repeat just one life and you are determined to achieve that balance there is an alarm that will keep ringing in your head as you begin to skew to one side or the other side that hey you are neglecting your health you need to work out so you then need to stop and do a heavy workout and try and maintain it it's possible work can get very busy or studies can get very busy or there can even be financial challenges that make that gives you a lot of pressure and chokes your time but in between in between there's that alarm simply because you have reset the equation of your life that's ringing and keeps pulling you back so the first thing is set reset that equation it is just one life that you have and therefore you must live based on purpose if you don't live a purpose driven life you will be chasing every opportunity that comes around you you'll be traveling on every road that opens up you are not likely going to gather any more you are not likely going to achieve much with your life but you will be very busy and you'll be very stressed and most likely you'll be very unhappy so the point is let your day to day activities be originated from the point of purpose one of the very first videos i did in this channel is around purpose i am unable to cover that now so i invite you to please go whether the first or the second video i'm not entirely sure but the very first set of videos i have on purpose watch it but the first one i'm making on this video is that reset your life equation stop turning it as if you must find balance between work and life it's just one life you got identify the variables and run after it make that point number one now point number two practical steps that you can take to achieve life life balance is that you must kick competition and perfection i say it again i've said it last week but it bears repetition please kick competition who are you competing with what's the trophy and if there's no trophy then why are you going through all this stress simply because you want to live on tomato island and you want to be traveling by tata and then you want your children to 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 wear the latest um uh, branded outfit is that the, is that the point of life no the point of life is about adding value adding value to yourself adding value to others making a difference that is the purpose of life so stop the competition there is actually no competition whether you are siblings whether you are colleagues whether you are neighbors 
we all came out differently. We have different life plans. We have different journeys. We have different variables we are dealing with. There is nothing. When you are in competition, usually there is a level playing ground. Everybody has 11 players. They have a window where they can shop for players. There, there is a measure of equilibrium that's supposed to be achieved there. That's not present in real life. You are competing with somebody whose father was a millionaire. Meanwhile, you are the first person to go to school in your own family. What's the base of the competition? Or you are competing with somebody who has a, who has a godfather somewhere who is um, assisting in his life's journey. You are just on your own. Maybe you are an offer. What's the base of the competition? So stop the competition. There is none. And the day you release yourself from competition, you begin to learn how to live from the inside. You begin to learn how to live based on purpose. You can start living on a budget. You can start living on what you can afford. So you take away the pressure of the financial situation where you now have to work extra, go and take a job that kills the, 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 the other parts of your life and you are worrying and wondering why you are unhappy and why you are so sick. My friend, that's the point. So kick competition and also kick perfection. Everything will not be perfect. There will be times when things will be out of line. There will be times when things will be skewed. There will be times when you will not be able to afford certain things. You want to travel every year, but there's a period when maybe you are building your house or you have an investment you can afford to travel. And so that's it. It's not perfect. You live with it that way. And then when the opportunity comes around, you continue. So kick competition, kick perfectionism. Unfortunately, it's eight minutes already. And so I got to go. But next week, I'm going to touch on some more. I want to be as practical as possible. So, just to wrap up these two points I've made, the two things I raised this week, resetting your life's equation, kicking competition, and perfectionism, they are inside jobs. You have to do it yourself. Nobody can do it for you. But if you remember that achieving life-life balance affects your health, affects your emotional, your physical, your mental health, affects whether you will be able to maintain healthy relationships, affects your business, affects even whether you will live long or not. I hope that gives you enough drive to stop and do whatever you need to do in achieving these two points I've raised this week. I'm sure you are interested in what I have left, so you keep it at next week as we continue this conversation on practical steps to achieve life life balance the delay the channel once again is delay t mark is still my name and whatever you do don't ever forget that what we are trying to do is what make a little difference i hope to see you next week bye